Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Callie and I'm the creator of Glazed Epoxy. And today I wanted to share with you my Hidden Gems Epoxy Tumbler. I wanted to do something because this is actually going to be my personal water bottle. Um, I really love it because I need something with a straw. Like I don't, the straw's not in here, but <laughs> it has like this little pop-up top. So if I don't have a straw, like I don't drink it. Like it, I don't know why just having it in a straw, it just makes it so I actually drink water. So I just wanted something with a straw. And then I have a bunch of other ones like with a handle. This one's really beat up, but it has like a little handle right there, but it's just kind of annoying and actually hurts your finger sometimes. So I don't know, but this one has like this lovely little, there's a plane. But this one actually has this like nice little handle that's big that you can actually hold like your whole hand um, or you could hook it on something. It just is going to make it so much easier for me to carry around water. I really wanted to do something just neutral, nothing crazy on it, just something that's pretty and neutral and simple, you know? So I just love that it's kind of got the glitter like underneath and then this kind of like distressed outer layer so you can kind of see through and see the glitter and just like random spots are distressed. So I just, I don't know, I thought it was really cool and I thought Hidden Gem would be the perfect name because it's kind of like the glitter's all in there and you're kind of just peeking through and seeing it. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got my Hidden Gems cup, then let's get into the video. All right, so I am starting with just my stainless steel tumbler. I painted it rose gold already. So just putting it on my tumbler or taking it off my tumbler, I have some epoxy mixed up. This is the Artisan Epoxy by DIY Epoxy. And for doing the glitter layer, you just need like three to five milliliters. I usually mix up about 10 just in case. And it's harder to mix like teeny tiny amounts. So just spread that on there evenly with your glove. Just make sure you really spread it on and make sure everything is coated evenly. So then once that's on there, I like to put it back on the turner. Just let it turn for a couple minutes just so that way you don't have any like globby parts or anything. It just kind of smooths out and is nice and even. And for this one, it was like being weird and like wobbly. So I added some tape. It still was wobbly and angled. So I'm not the best at figuring out how to get these kind of shaped cups on there good. If you have any tips, let me know down below. But yeah, I just added some tape to kind of secure it so it wouldn't fall off. So then I'm just taking it off the turner and we're going to sprinkle on some glitter. I'm using Peachy Olives Athena glitter. It's so pretty. It's like a really pretty gold. There's different sizes in there. And then there's also like these um, iridescent like holographic glitters also. So just looking at it from here, you can see it's gold. But when you look up close, you can see the color in there. And it's just a really pretty gold. And I love the chunkiness of it. So we're not using glitter on the whole thing we're going to cover it up with paint so I thought it'd be wasteful to do the whole cup so I'm just doing that whole like middle section and then I wanted some on the bottom too for my little part on the bottom so I just kind of set it down on there I just redo that a couple of times just to make sure that it got enough glitter on the bottom <laughs> any other glitter layer you just want to let that turn and dry for several hours so then just showing you a close-up of how pretty this glitter is I can't get enough of it so I mean I could just watch glitter all day long anybody else like it's so pretty so once that's dry go in with just a clear layer um, I think I actually did two glitter layers or two clear layers after the glitter. I'm just showing this one, but um, just so you have several layers on of epoxy on there. I think I did two after the glitter. So then this is the 
hard part, spraying paint on top of your pretty glitter. Um, this is the Rust-Oleum Farmhouse. Like a, I can't see the name, um, but it's something gray. It's a really pretty color. It's just like a really nice light gray. Um, and it was actually in the paint section at Home Depot where like the chalk paint is, I think. Like it's a different section. They have a couple really pretty colors in there. So just spraying that on just the bottom half, then taking the Rust-Oleum flat white paint on the other half and make sure you don't use the Rust-Oleum. I think it's called White Blossom or something like that. It's like their satin white paint. It is not, like it, it looks yellow under epoxy for some reason and I was having issues with my white things turning yellow and then so I switched to this one and I think a lot of you already use this one but I just wanted to add that that I was kind of confused why my whites weren't looking white and that was why. Uh, when my white paint was still wet, I went in and sprinkled a tiny bit of this white glitter. This is just from Michaels, I think, or Michaels? Yeah, Michaels. I just, I knew I would probably get little speckles or like dust or something in my epoxy on top of the white and it being white, I just wanted to kind of break it up a little bit. So after that was dry, I went in with sandpaper to kind of scratch off the paint. And I have some dimples in my epoxy. I don't know how that happened, but uh, the last layer covers it up. But I was just scratching it off here and there, and I was actually getting kind of frustrated because it wasn't as easy as, as I thought. So if you guys have any tips for doing this kind of thing, like do you guys usually use sandpaper? Is there an easier way? Let me know because I was getting a little frustrated with this cup at this moment, and I'm just glad it turned out okay, but I was just, I was like, you know when you're just doing something and it's not turning out and you're just like, whatever, I'm done with this. I think it actually turned out fine, but I mean, it just, it took a lot of effort. So then here it is done and just washed off. I mean, it looks horrible right now, but once we get the final layer of epoxy on, it will look great. And then you can see just the little bit on the bottom that I did. So then doing the final layer of epoxy, um, it just, it's so weird how like it looks horrible. And then you put the epoxy on and the glitter is sparkling again. And it's this beautiful shiny thing again. So yeah, it's always weird sanding them. I'm always like, wait, I just ruined it. It looks horrible. But then just add another layer of epoxy and it's really beautiful again. Let it spin for six to eight hours and then after that I always like to let mine sit for a few days to a week just so that the epoxy is nice and cured then you have your beautiful hidden gems epoxy tumbler all right you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe uh, I can't believe how fast this channel is growing so thank you all to everyone who is subscribing and watching my videos it means so much to me that you guys are supporting me and this channel is growing this fast like never in a million years did I think that it would grow this fast like my, this channel is basically to where my other channel my makeup channel is after two years of being on YouTube on my makeup channel this channel's done that in two months so that's crazy so again thank you so much and I also wanted to mention my hair extensions because I have shorter hair and I put in my hair extensions I got them from Donabella Hair, and if you're interested, I do have a coupon code, and I did a video all about it on my makeup channel, so if you're interested, I will link that below as well. But in case you're just like, hey, she has short hair, what happened? It's hair extensions, so I love them. All right, that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.